moving on to Dr. Dre's wife, who claims prenup is null and void, as she claims um, the rapper destroyed it after the wedding. She's challenging the prenuptial agreement in a $1 billion divorce suit. According to court documents obtained by TMZ, Dr. Dre's ex-wife, Nicole Young, claims she was extremely reluctant to sign the prenup in 1996, revealing she felt backed into a corner. She says Dre admitted to her that he felt ashamed he had pressured her into signing a premarital agreement and that he had tore up multiple copies of the agreement in front of her, stating that since the day he tore up the agreement, they both understood that there was no premarital agreement and that it was null and void. But you want $1 million. Mm. <laughs> like this woman is capping, but let me just like, close my mouth. Like... So when I saw this, I was I was really worried, and I was like, okay, so what 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 is the legal stance of uh, prenuptial agreement being null and void? But wait first, let's even agree, yeah, that he told this. Does she have this on camera mm. of him tearing it? Mm. She, and he, he didn't say she, she didn't say he told everything. He told some parts of the and whatever. Michael, even if. They ha you have it on camera mm -hmm. just tearing because it. if you did then you can come out to tell you i did not hear make anything. it null mm -hmm. and void because for you to even have such a document you have a legal representative True. who was a divorce who copy am i still oh, that's your she is copy. saying that the legal representation she had was, was gotten for her by Dre's team. it still don't matter it's a legal representative and they are legal representatives <laughs> 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 do you understand so i got um the ones that will make it null and void the agreement is fraudulent which obviously you didn't state that the agreement was coerced, signed under duress. Oh, she's claiming that she's without claiming that mental, one. without mental capacity, coerced, and you know, being saying put back to the wall. Uh, that's not really coerced. I don't think she was back to uh, the wall because you weren't even, married, exactly. and they did say if you don't marry me, you will die. I don't know, like how can you even be coerced to sign a pre prenup? Like he, he's trying to protect. You know what a prenup is. Like, if he's convincing you to do that, it's because he wants one. How and it's because of situations like this. Exactly. How else am I going to tell you to sign a document that protects me if I don't convince you to sign the document that protects me? How is that now a coercion? I, I'm, I'm really confused. She, mm -hmm. I've been seeing women like that for some reason. Even Lilo keeps coming to my mind. People who make a, 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 a conscious decision. And well, then when he does it, Lilo... House big brother manager. Oh, okay. How? Why? <laughs> I'll, I'll explain it. When they make a conscious decision, in that moment they're okay, they're riding with it, and then after, when it doesn't work well, they claim to be victims. Mm -hmm. So you see, um, Lily in all our interviews now trying to say that um, Eric is what well, abused that took advantage Use of. That. Mm -hmm took advantage of that which which to me is absolute bs because you enjoyed it in that moment the same thing goes to this lady like you knew mm. <laughs> she was popping her leg and raising her anyway when when this um what's it called uh, the dr dre's wife now Nicole. i i feel like she signed she signed that prenup or maybe she didn't want to sign that prenup because she had intentions of having that money mm -hmm. and now age, ages after you know you never you never brought it up until the divorce you are now claiming that the that you were under again you're a victim of signing something and you want one million dollars why are you why do you think you are entitled to one million dollars because you married someone and the saddest part is um dr dre has even agreed to, and dr dre has even agreed to um spousal support do you understand that mm -hmm. he's going to be paying spousal support, obviously. But so, she's asking for too much, apparently. Yeah. Yes, now. Uh -uh. The, the marriage is worth $1 billion, so she's entitled to half of it, actually, which is about 500000 500 $500 million. million. Dollars. Ah, see, investment, please will marry me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to drag this. But I mean, she just needs to... Well, I would like to really see how this plays out in court, because it, it doesn't make... Um, layman sense to me because I'm yeah. not a lawyer anyways but reading what she's claiming and what she's saying I mean she wasn't married as an underage was she no. so claiming you were caressed and it he was sorry it gone that it was violent and he tore it I mean even if that is the case I can see I'm not a lawyer but I can see a million and one ways that Dr. Dre's lawyers can actually refute this in court actually yeah. if you don't have him on camera tearing this or sending mm. you messages that said oh I'm sorry you had to and this was 1996 mm. there's a high possibility that that's not possible. So yeah. I think she should go back to the negotiation table and get this. Get as far as the support. Yeah. She was still. That's fine. it. That's what you should be doing. Which one is You'll calling prices? Like, like, but the thing is, you know, they they lived a certain lifestyle when they were with you, and they still want to be able to maintain it. That's fair enough. That's the thing wrong with support that. Support is not going no. to pay for the private jets oh, no, and the no, private no. yacht. There is a way that they can't. So you don't need to skip 
flying a private jet? Please, where are you flying? Are you flying with Dr. J? Where are you going to be private jet? Well, she wants to live her best life. Okay, Come maybe on. she will hire you. She should go marry another. <laughs> to do what? 